Hey guys, gals and legionnaires, Rykon here, and welcome back to Let's Relax with RimWorld. We're on episode 8 now. Leon, Nick, and Logan are still alive, and still fast asleep. We're still trying to figure out exactly how to get our refrigeration system working to the best capabilities, so we're going to end up deconstructing that one there, and we're going to create a new one in place here. So hopefully, once these boys get up, we'll be able to get them into action. After they eat some raw potato, mm. which really isn't the best. Okay, I believe we still have Leon hauling for now, which is good, because we do need to get these inside as soon as possible. Even though it's not refrigerated, they're going to last for that little bit more longer, which is nice. Now, Nick, I need to make sure that you are going to be working on... No, actually, this is going to be our top priority. So you start working on that first, and then we'll worry about deconstructing and making these up here again. Logan, what is your... Okay, I'll let you do that as well. You can do what you like. Okay, good. Getting some metal. It'd be nice to be able to get this metal out of here before we kind of lock the place down, but um, I don't think that that's going to happen. <laughs> Did you need more? You could have just grabbed more in the first place, buddy. But hey, you know, I won't judge. It's okay. All right, we're going to seal up this section here as well. Leon, come on. Okay, he's starting to work on that one there, but I really want that to be finished. <laughs> he just won't, he won't cooperate with me. Okay. We're going to seal up that wall there. Good, and that's finally, finally being done. Which is great. And then we can just crank that right down. Although, we'll just have to watch the power, because it's going to take a little bit for that to kind of catch up again. And we are going to have to destroy these batteries eventually, but I want to create some new ones inside before that happens. And that's the plan, at least. Okay, great. So we're going to drop this right down. We want our target temperature to be minus 5 degrees, so hopefully it can work that down okay. Okay. It's actually cooling down this room as well, um, which is going to make it a lot harder to do, because obviously it's a steam room. It's actually got it down to 30 degrees, which isn't bad, but that's going to be creating heat as well, so we, we do need to seal that off. I'm beginning to think maybe this isn't the best place to have the refrigerator right next to this geothermal geyser, but, you know, what can you do? <laughs> I think you are actually going to try and grab that steel. Great. Okay, now I don't feel like I'm wasting it, which is good. Um, we don't need anything... We don't need anything too crazy to be here, um, so I think we might just even go with a wood wall. Um, yes. Um, and I'm just going to build it out a little bit, just to make sure that it actually does allow air to come out. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> ah, okay, I'll stop that. So the problem here is that this is this marshy kind of watery material that we can't construct on. Um, so we would just be able to maybe go here to kind of try and stop people from getting in. That vent is potentially a major hazard for us. It does get me somewhat concerned. Hmm. I'm going to quickly rename the stockpile. And we're going to call it Fridge. And hopefully it can become like a fridge, because that squirrel is about to spoil. So... The sooner this temperature gets down, the better. Because it's really not getting down. Okay, Logan, you are helping finish that, which is great. I support that. Nick, I need you to finish that ASAP. Because this is all getting hot with that geyser there. Come on, you can finish it off. I think you might need some more blocks. Gosh. Okay, so there isn't a whole lot of time left on those, so... There could be a whole heap of food wasted. I really, really, really don't want that. Um, so I'd love it if Nick can grab those blocks as soon as possible and finish that off. 
we're probably going to have to haul some of this crap out of here as well because we won't we aren't going to be able to fit these other these other bodies in here but i think we're at the point where we may we may just have to let them go because i mean they're going to be spoiled by the end of the day we might just need to move on okay nick please tell me you're getting close you are good 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 Leon's deciding not to go to sleep yet. He's going to start trying to haul that, and I commend him on his efforts. Well done, well done. And finally, the room is sealed. So we should start seeing the temperature drop. Because it got up to 40 degrees. I mean, that's hotter than anywhere else. So that was really, <laughs> really not ideal. Probably should have got that wall there built a little bit sooner. Um, but the temperature is starting to come down now, which is good. So hopefully, hopefully, we can get that stuff freezing. I'm just going to get rid of that chair that's underneath there as well. Unfortunately, we're still eating potatoes at the moment. Uh, we don't need to be, though. Like, we don't need to be. So I'm going to get Leon to prioritize getting that. Great. We've got all our solar panels back up and running. So these batteries should be getting nice and full. I'm okay with them being outside for now. I'm not stressing about it. Um, it's not the end of the world if something does happen to them because they're pretty easy for us to make. Um, I'm just going to try and want to try and focus on making like potentially like another separate power room here. Or actually, we've got this space here. We might be able to use it. Um, yeah, you know what? Let's designate that to be mined out. So we'll, we will use this space here and we're going to use that as our kind of battery room because this is going to be our main power generated from this um, this geothermal vent here. And now that all this is getting done, it would be nice to actually get them a place where they can eat. A meeting room of sorts. Um, yes! It's working. The nutrient paste dispenser is working. Uh, he's a little bit upset about wearing frayed apparel, because I, um, I think that's probably... Actually, it's probably a bit of both. It's probably his... No, it's a shoddy cowboy hat. Um, he really doesn't have to have it on, so maybe I should remove it. Ah, you know what? We'll leave it for now. We'll leave that for now. Okay. It's slowly starting to come together here. I am a little bit concerned about the amount of food that we have here, but let's see, our temperature is minus 4 degrees, and it's frozen! Yes! We have frozen food! Okay, I'm really happy about that, and it looks like Logan's actually been able to pl plant some of these, um, these daylilies too. So the place is looking a little bit better. We haven't been attacked, which I'm really, really happy about. Um, we still have a little bit more of our growing period left. I think we go into August, so it probably will be good if Logan can try and get some of that up and running. I'm actually going to... I might try and re redesign, actually, you know what, before he does those. We're going to we're gonna redesign these, um, these growing zones here. So we're going to delete all of those zones. But we're going to work within them because I've already cut down the trees, so it makes sense to. Okay, so... This is already pretty much... Our potato zone. Actually, you know what? Let's go from let's go from there, and we'll delete just that. Okay. So this is going to be our potato zone, which is great. I'm good with that. Um, we'll leave that as our cloth up there, as there is already some still there, I believe. Yeah. Okay. Ah, oh, that's actually not what I wanted to do. So I do need to have a gap between them. <laughs> uh, we will get there we will get there okay so that's our potato zone we're gonna have potatoes being grown there which is great okay good all right we're now going to go back we're going to create another zone we're going to have a little bit of diversity hopefully we're going to have some corn there we're going to go back again go here which means he's actually going to have to tear that up, which is a little bit unfortunate. Um, we're going to have some strawberries. Then we are going to go up to here, where there already is some of it. I think there's actually more here. We're going to have this as our cloth. Our cotton, rather. 
So some of the stuff won't actually get done before um, the growing period's out, which is unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Um, we're going to want this Zerigun. I'm pretty sure this is what we use um, when it comes to constructing medical packs. So that will be helpful for sure. And we have enough room for one more. So let's have a look here. What do we want? I think we might end up going for either strawberries or devil strand because devil strand is what we can use in our um when we're actually making clothes and it's and it's i think it's a little bit more durable than just standard cloth um but for now i think food is probably going to be a better priority do i want to go uh, no 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 no. now we've got corn and we've got we've got potatoes so i'm gonna go for devil strand and hopefully that isn't a uh, a mistake <laughs> i hope All right, I'm looking forward to seeing this um, be constructed soon. This room is a is a very hot temperature, so he's probably thinking that yeah, he's extremely hot. So I think the the least amount of time that they're in here, the better, because um he's in a he's in a terrible mood at the moment. Um, I really want him to finish that as soon as possible. Hmm. Our research is coming along, which is good. Um, I'm going to allow Nick to continue doing that at the moment. Um, I'm all right with the nutrient the sorry rather the nutrient paste being in here. Um, I am I, I would like the potatoes to be in here, um, but you know what? They last for such a long time. I think we're going to be okay having them out there. That's good enough. You know what? I'm going to cancel that there. That doesn't need to be done. He needs to get the hell out of there because he's getting really, really, really hot. All right, Logan's doing a good job at getting some things planted before the, the day is through, which is nice. We need that. Um, I should probably look at getting some turrets in some better positions than what we have now. Um, but it seems to be working, and we haven't had too much of a threat from the eagles yet, so I kind of almost don't want to antagonize them if I can. Um, so I'm going to try and play somewhat reactive at the moment, so we don't need to go crazy and um, start building a ton of defenses, so we probably won't at this stage, just because I'm not 100% sure how that's going to be affected. Um, I think there's a chance that, that yeah, we could, we could run into some trouble if we do start, you know, making a ton of um, fortifications and defenses and things like that. All right, it looks like we're getting towards the end of this day. Logan's going to be just finishing up a few of his things there, which is okay by me. I would like to get a, a common room of sorts done. Um, so I think that's probably going to be um, Leon's job tomorrow. It would be nice to... Let's see what he's doing here. He's hauling that last one in. That's good. It would be nice to be able to clean this up, um, but I think Logan is literally the only person that can clean right now, so it's more important for me that he gets that stuff starting to at least grow before he even um, has a think about cleaning the place up, uh, which he definitely he will need to eventually because um, that's obviously having a, a negative impact on their mood. Um, but, you know... Yeah, I think we're going to build it here, because then that's going to be a door straight into where the food area is, and that's where we're going to be keeping a lot of our, our food as well. Um, I don't know about making it the same size as we did for this other one, this 5x5 five five layout, um, just because the tables are a really awkward shape. Um, I'm pretty sure from memory, are they 5x4 or, well, okay, I can actually chuck it down and have a look. Um, so let's have a look. We could go for a long table. Um and that's two. That's two as well. Okay, actually, I think that's I think that's going to be okay. If we have this is just that's that's what it is. That's what it does. I think we're going to be okay with that. And um, yeah, we can look at mining that there too. So that gives Leon something to do. Um, it's going to be nice to get this stuff hauled out of here as well because it really slows us down. Um, when we're walking across these large rocks, we're essentially climbing over them. So yeah. We're actually wasting um, energy at the moment, so even though it is ridiculously hot in there, I am going to designate some batteries uh, to be made, because we will need them. 
and that's going to be our battery bank in there. And then I'm actually going to look at removing these ones here. Looks like they don't actually have to be in there for too long, which is good. We're going to need that power conduit to run to them as well, so we're just going to have that coming out like that, and then going to here. Okay. They're having to go quite far for their metal now, um, but I'm okay that they're, they're using the stuff that's actually out there first before we have to start doing more mining, because there is more compacted steel here, but it's going to put a big hole in our defenses, so... Yeah, I don't really want to do that yet if we don't need to. Um, yeah, this got constructed a hell of a lot faster than I was expecting it to. Now, I think that I might just end up chucking a long table down here, because I was going to chuck down two short tables anyway. Um, so we might look at just making it here, having some chairs here and all the way around as well. And we can make another one uh, when we need to. Uh, what did I make that out of? I think I want, no, I actually I want to make that out of wood. Just because we've still got so much wood kicking around, uh, it would be good to use it. Get it? Would be good to use Okay. <laughs> I apologize, I'm sorry. It's been a long day for me. Uh, puns will slip out like that. I, and I apologize greatly. Okay, so we don't need all those chairs for now, but I'm just saying we get it done. Get it out the way. We're going to chuck in some doors as well. Uh, that's not a door at all. That's a door. Okay. Great. We'll allow that to start. We'll look at chucking a light in as well. Which is under... Are we looking at sunlight? No. Ah, that's bright enough to grow crops. I see. So that's kind of what we use for our hydroponics if we're growing food inside. Uh, but I'm just going to go around blindly until I find the standing lamp. Which I'm... Um, I think we'll just chuck in that corner here. Oh, the flowers are looking nice. That's good, at least. All right, Nick, hop to it. So hopefully we won't have to use the nutrient paste. Um, we're actually going to go over here, butcher creature. We're going to say do it forever, because keeping meat is a lot easier than keeping uh, all of those. Because, uh, yeah, keeping all of them, it takes up a lot of space. More space than we need. At least he's kind of able to sit on the chair and eat on the floor. Soon, soon, you won't have to worry about that, guys, I promise. Okay, so we're going to come over here to the cook stove. We're going to go cook simple meal, and we're going to do it until we have, let's say, there's three of them. So at any one time, it would be nice to have at least six in here. So that means that Logan should come over and start cooking up some nice meals. He's going to use the food that's already there, which is smart. I'm good with him doing that. Um, and hopefully, he will store the food back into here once he's done. Great. Fantastic. So this now is frozen, and it won't spoil, which is great. Okay, Nick, you're obviously going to be start getting really, really hot while you're in here. Uh, but I'm going to let you start doing your thing. Good. Okay, so they're hooked up now, so I... You know what? Maybe we should just keep these out here for now. Then again, potential problems later on. I don't know. Hmm. We probably actually don't need that power switch to be there as well. Um, you know, we're going to run another power path. We're going to run along here. We're going to along straight up there. We're going to deconstruct that. Not that. There. That'll give us some steel back as well. Alright, Logan's doing some butchering at the same time. Great. So he's obviously, I guess he's made his six meals. Yeah, he has. Great, so he's now going to come over here, start butchering. Fantastic. We're starting slowly to get ahead of ourselves here, which is good. Um, I just need to check his priorities again. Yeah, we're going to leave that one, because when I do designate something, I want it to be done. Um, let's have a look. I'm going to chuck you on plant cutting as well. I'm not too stressed about everything else at the moment, though, which is good. Now, coming back over here to the Taylor workbench, we do want those parkers done. Um, but it doesn't look like anyone's going to want to just jump in and do it straight away. So we're going to go under a crafting, have a look. So Leon has a passion for crafting, and Nick is a great crafter, but he doesn't have the same kind of passion. Um, and Nick is probably going to be quite busy with a ton of other things at the moment. 
But um, I would like to put these at a level where, you know, they should be doing them. Um, it looks like Nick can clean as well, which is good. Uh, so that means that if he's got nothing else to do, he should be doing that. But for now, I'm going to allow Logan to continue cutting up this meat because, well, it just needs to be done. Now, hopefully, Nick should do some crafting after, of course, this construction is done because um, he's our he's our constructor, he's our builder. Um, and Leon is even doing some hauling, which is fantastic. Um, we're just keeping these things outside for now, which isn't which isn't great. Um, they will they will deteriorate when they're outside. Um, Logan's got some growing done as well. It's good. We've got we've, we're actually you know we're doing okay at the moment. Um, not fantastic, but you know not terrible at the same time, which is good. Um, I just want to make sure that that's deconstructed as well because we don't need that to be done. And um, we've got a lot of meat, like a lot. So those beavers were kind of a blessing in disguise because they, they weren't like a major problem for us. Sure, they did demolish all of those trees in that region there, but you can see already that these trees are coming back, which is great. They haven't come back here yet, but they're already starting to grow back there. So it just kind of shows you that even if you do wipe an area clean of trees in the tundra it's gonna it's gonna grow back sooner sooner than you think actually like this this could potentially be a problem here as well like um that i think they've actually stopped working which <laughs> which i've got to keep an eye on um i didn't realize that was going to be such a problem i might have to actually just um build floor there because if i do i think that they uh trees won't actually be able to grow there so we're just going to quickly come in designate um in this whole kind of region here uh none of them None of them are at the age yet where they are a problem. But I think that we'll be saying, yeah, it's blocked by pine tree. So maybe it is instead cut plants. Yeah. Cutting plants is what we want to be doing. See, it should be generating a lot of power now with this kind of windstorm happening. Um, but, you know, but we're not. Um, so we're de going to designate those plants to be cut. And we might actually even come under here. Let's see. Floors. We've got more than enough wood. It would be a little bit weird having wood outside. I don't know. It just seems strange. I'd rather have, um, I'd rather go with concrete just because it's, you know, it doesn't have to be pretty. Um, that way we're going to only be using, well, we're going to be still be using a lot of steel to cover that whole region. Um, I'm beginning to think maybe it is better that we use wood just because we're going to be chopping wood down in the region as well. Yeah. I'm going to go for wood. It might look a little bit strange, but <laughs> um, it's going to hopefully stop anything from, from growing there. And, oh dear. We're out of power. I'm not 100% sure what happened there. Um, oh, it's because these have not been constructed yet <laughs> so we cut off the power before we actually had it constructed which is a problem because this is going to be heating up now yeah that's a major problem so they need to pretty much drop everything they're, they're doing and prioritize working on those conduits it's Leon so Logan's just working on that whole stretch okay all right we'll get to it Okay, at least he's got steel nearby, so that means that he should be able to very quickly get this problem fixed. Okay. <laughs> We're just going to quickly make sure that this is done. I could just change his um, construction priority, but this is just my way of making sure that it actually gets done. Okay, we should have power coming back in now. Yes, yes, yes we do. A very small amount, but we have power. So this should start <laughs> freezing things again. Oh, damn it. Look, we've had that spoil already. Shit. But I think that the temperature is slowly starting to get down, which is good. Slowly. Ugh. That 
was a pain in the ass. <laughs> it really was. God damn. So we managed to managed to hopefully save some of the meat after that um, unfortunate crisis, <laughs> which probably e could have easily been avoided if I had properly noticed. But unfortunately, I didn't, and that must mean that I'm tired. So. <laughs> Oh, it's Logan's birthday. He, he, well, he's been in crow's sleep for a while, so you can see that his, his chronological age is, uh, it's, it's a lot older than his actual age, but all things aside, I think for the safety of this town, I should probably stop now before I get them all killed, because, uh, it's, it's gonna happen, so thanks again for joining me. This has been relaxing. Um, this place is coming along really, really well, and I think that these three are going to be work, able to work together to create something that's um, that's sustainable and that they uh, they can actually be happy living in rather than just you know getting by on the skin of their teeth. So thanks for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the episode, and until next time, stay tuned.